come and join us today at Daytona Lagoon. It is right next to Daytona Beach. Lots to do here. We're going to show you everything that is included with the all-day inclusive pass. And a big thank you to Daytona Lagoon for inviting us out, providing the tickets and the cabana as well as food. So let's go show you everything. Today we're at Daytona Lagoon. And we're going to try doing everything. They have inside arcade, they have go-karts, they have a lot of stuff here. parked over here in the main lot, the main parking garage, right next to Daytona Lagoon. I see they have quite a few things to do over here too. This is like a public parking garage that connects over here to like a Ocean Walk Village. Some more shopping, Blacklight Mini Golf, Wing House, and I think the Hilton, yeah, Hilton's right here. And make sure to check out their website as they have a $15 off coupon at the moment. I've seen them on Groupon as well, so look for the deals. So you walk in, you got a shop right here, and then you've got a nice arcade over here. Looks like quite a bit to do. So we're gonna go walk around Terminator. We're gonna do all this stuff in a little bit. Let's get situated. They said they're giving us the cabana bumper car. So as far as the pricing with that coupon online, instead of $67, it would have been just over $50 a person for all day, all inclusive, which includes the water park and everything inside except for the arcade. And they do have memberships for a monthly fee as well as season passes. So it's really not bad for pricing at all. The cheapest arcade credits were $40 for $10. And I believe some of the arcades were between like five to seven credits, if I remember correctly. And you can earn prizes at the gift shop from those arcade games. We got checked in and we're gonna head over to the cabana. There's the mini golf right here, so that's pretty cool. 10 to 18 holes. And then the go-karts, they do have single and double. It is hot out, so it'll be nice to get into the water today too. All right, so we gotta go find our cabana. We got cabana one. And then we're gonna take you guys around, do a tour, and see what fun we can have. You first pass the wave pool and then you see the lazy river, the kitty area. Everything's pretty easy to find. Those, they do have little seats that you can rent with the top on it. There's the lazy river. Okay, so they have another thing here, but I think they are up. So they have a kitty area. This lazy river connects. I like the kitty area, it's pretty nice. And they have a couple of different slides. The green So there are a few different styles of cabanas. I like the location of this one and just how big it is, but you at least have some choices. All right, so the cabana comes with a few chairs. It's like four, right? And then- Four chairs and two uh, lounge chairs. Two lounge chairs. Uh, the box, lock box, which is nice. You don't need to get a locker. You got coverage. Again, we're right next to kids area, so they can at least run around this area and it would feel safe. Laser tag is one of the many activities included in the all-inclusive pass, so we got to do that and had the whole place to ourselves.
have a brand new restaurant upstairs, but I believe that's just from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we were here during the middle of the week, so we ate at the quick service place that was by the arcade. So they have different quesadillas, burgers, pizza, nachos, those kind of things. So for $10, we got a cheese pizza. It's a seven inch cheese pizza. And then my husband got the walking nachos, which was about $14. And then both the chicken tenders and the cheeseburger were a $15 combo that came with fries and a drink. We upgraded for like less than a dollar for some ices though. It's just like any quick service that you would get anywhere, especially at the theme parks, very similar. I would have to say I liked the chicken tenders and the cheese pizza best. How are your chicken nuggets? Good. Okay, you're like your pizza pumpkin? Okay. Alright, so this, I mean, this burger looks I ate the cheese. Next up, we did the mini golf, which is included in that pass. And I wanted to get it done first because Florida is crazy with the weather. You never know if it's going to rain. We actually didn't have any bad weather, which was nice. But a few times we've been to the water parks this summer, it's had to close for a little while due to lightning, rain, and we had to wait it out. We got lucky today. <laughs> I just wanted to take a peek at the go-karts to see how it was. It reminded me of the ones at Fun Spot a little bit, but we were super hot, so we figured why not head over back to the pool area. And I also forgot to mention, but this was filled with ice with the cabana, so it kept our waters nice and cool. I'm at the water park. Hi, buddy boy. Hi. This one already. The sky is beautiful. The hot, I mean the sun is making the sweat. Okay, get out first. Goodbye, buddy boy. Whoa! Whoa, this is so fun! I'll be right back guys to get my goggles. area for the little ones quite a few different slides and splash areas to play in now the kids wanted to go on the lazy river next typically the lazy river and the wave pole are their absolute two favorite things to do it basically goes in a big giant square i would say and this nice mural of the dolphins was really pretty they also have one of a turtle i think it would be really cool if they had the whole walls as beautiful murals like that just to give more of an escape Here's 
another nice mural, the sea turtle one I mentioned. We ended up getting a picture with Buddy Boy real quick. And then we left to get his goggles, came back around. We did probably a few laps, I would say five, before heading to the wave pool. You'll have to check their actual calendar on their website, but usually they stay open till at least 6 p.m. in the water park. And some nights they're even open until 10 p.m. And then the fun park, like the arcade, the mini golf, the go-karts, they're open from at least 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. Season pass holders can also get in, I think, a half hour early, so that's actually pretty cool. But I liked how they were open late today. Heading to the wave pool, you can see that newer water slide, that yellow and green one, is called Shaka Half Pipe. It is a pretty short one. It's basically just a drop, but it's a 50-foot drop. You go down and then backwards. And the one next to it is Kraken's Revenge. It's a 50-foot tall slide. You go down a mat. Three. We stayed about 30 minutes into the wave pool. You have at least 10 minutes or so of the waves and then you also have time where there's no waves. You can really feel the push of the waves over by the shore especially. One of the slides that was a two-seater, but you could see the go-karts from up here. You can also see there's two slides to the left, the green and the purple, and then there's two slides to the right. Some of the slides you do have to carry your own inner tube, but we got the one that has the conveyor belt, so we didn't have to worry about carrying it up all the stairs. You ready? Woohoo! Shoot! Woohoo! pretty fun what you think pumpkin yeah they have seven or eight different water slides here so there really is a lot to do to spend a full afternoon just at the water park but we were ready to go head inside do a couple more things that we missed and then head out this florida summer heat has been brutal so make sure you stay hydrated they actually have a refill water bottle station by the bathrooms inside since the rock climb wall was included in the past vanessa wanted to give it a shot she always wants to go up high and gets a little scared but at least it gives her some practice and this worker was really sweet she was nice enough to give Vanessa some pointers on where to put her hands and feet, so we really appreciated that. And then she got to this point and was like, oh, okay, I'm done. And that's totally okay. We're just proud that she even tried. These bumper cars are included too. It took the kids a minute to get used to the controls, but they're actually pretty awesome. <laughs> inside to show you some of the prizes they have if you do play the arcade games. It's from Ugly Dolls! Oh, that's cute. Adorable. Yeah, that is. 1600 for those. 900 for the keychains. 900 for this ball, so you can earn prizes for that. Some like bubble wands and unicorn stuff. LOL. Some candy too. I hope 
that gives you an idea and overview of everything there is at Daytona Lagoon. It really can be a lot of fun for all different ages. I like that they have a mix of things to do inside and things to do outside. We have all kinds of other videos on other water parks, arcades, and amusement centers, so I'll link some of our favorites down below. And a big thank you to Maddie and Lachey for helping support our channel. People like you help us to keep going and doing what we love. And if you'd like to see more behind the scenes or have a shout out, I will link our Patreon down below. Click either of these videos, the top one being the top six arcades in Central Florida and the bottom one being a recent water park we just visited. Thank you so much for watching.